Geometrical figures. We're looking at tests for congruent triangles. This is test 2, known as SAS. To test for congruent triangles, we can apply one of four tests. We've seen a video on SSS. This one's on SAS. There's also another test called AAS and another one called RHS. Let's have a look at SAS. This states that if two sides and the included angle, I'll explain what that is, of one triangle are equal to two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. We'll see this best in our example here. Let's check out what an included angle is there. If something's included, it's sort of uh, it's part of the mix. It's in between the two sides that we're talking about. If we've got two sides, side one and side two, and they're part of a triangle, then the angle between the two sides that we're talking about is called the included angle. If we're working with side one and side two, that um, that blue shaded bit that I've done there is called the included angle. It's important for this test that we have enough information but, uh, about two sides and the angle that's in between it. Otherwise we might have troubles. Here's a typical question. Prove that triangle EFG on the left is congruent to triangle HHJK. Let me be precise with my language. Um, okay, so let's piece this together. Let's see if we can have a side statement, an angle statement, and a side statement that adds up to enough information to pass this congruency test and to say that these two triangles are congruent. Let's have a look at, for, first of all, a side statement where one side from a triangle is equal to the other. And you'll notice that EF is 6 and HJ is 6 so we can say that they're equal to each other and that's given to us in the question it was uh, that those sixes were there provided for us in the question we didn't sort of have to conclude them any other way and that's our first side statement now because this is the SAS test we're looking for to, to make a statement about these triangles and the included angles you can notice how I've shaded each of those angles blue well, if they've got the same symbol or the same color or the same sort of uh, uh, marking on them, we can trust that they are meant to be equal to each other. So because they've both got the same blue shading there, we can take that and make an angle statement out of it. We've said angle FEG, FEG, notice uh, that angles, remember, are named for the vertex and the vertex uh, symbol is in the middle. This is angle E and this is angle H that we're talking about on the other one and those letters are in the middle of the naming of that angle so we're saying that those are equal because they're given the same symbol on our diagram and that's an angle statement that we've made and it's definitely the included angle we're going to be using the six and the eight sides on both both of the triangles and you can see that the blue marking is the angle that's in between them or the included angle so we need one more side statement. We've already got a side statement, an included angle statement. Let's have a look at another side that's matching on both triangles. EG is 8 and HK is 8 as well. So we can see that they're supposed to be equal and that's given to us in the diagram. So we've uh, pieced together enough information to pass this SAS congruent triangles test and we'll just make the statement now that triangle EFG is congruent to, with our fancy symbol, triangle HJK. And why? Well, that's because it's passed the test for SAS. We had a side statement we could make, uh, an angle statement for an angle that's in, in between the two sides that we're using, and another side statement adding up to enough information. So we'd say that those two triangles are congruent because we listed enough information to pass the SAS test for congruent triangles. So that's the SAS. If two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to two sides and the included angle of another triangle, the con triangles are congruent. A bit of a mouthful, but uh, it panned out quite nicely, just by listing enough information to pass the test. Thanks for listening. PeterBlakeMath.com. See you next time.